Hello, my crafty friends. My name is Denise Becker, and I'm from sunny Florida. And I wanted to show you all um, my next batch of cards um, from the um, Pansies. What's it called? <laughs> as many times as you, you think I know. <laughs> Pansy Patch. <laughs> there we go. Um, Pansy Patch. Now, these are just little, um, these just say uh, a little hello from me to you, and uh, just a card to say you're amazing. And um, they're very simple. Uh, it's called a uh, fractured or faux shutter card. Uh, I remembered how to do it. Uh, this one I'm not using because I, I, um, I just noticed. I don't. I, I that's gonna bug me. It's not butted up against that um, little piece right here, so I, I'm not gonna use it. I'm going to make another one. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. I said, oh, no, I can. that's going to drive me. It'll drive me crazy. So, no, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Do it again. But um, this one, yeah, this is, this is better, much better. <laughs> very simple, very simple to make. Um, and I'm just going to use this. I use this, this from the, actually, from the DSP, from the uh, Pansy Patch, um, sweet and then this is from another uh stamp set uh i can't remember what it's called and this was another one from the like the subtles group because stampin up has um subtles regals br in colors brights uh different card coloring groups um and i ran out of um i want i really like this gingham but i ran out of it i, I only have a little bit left so um, it's just a regular, um, eight and a half by five and a half card base. And this one I use bubble bath and then, um, I scored it at four and a quarter. No, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Yeah. Four and a quarter down the middle. And I already did the inside and stamped the little bud and did my sentiment. Just a card to say you're amazing. And, um, this piece of DSP goes on the front, um, and this is four by five and a quarter. I just came down a quarter of an inch on all sides just to make it nice and easy. So, uh, and then you need a, um, this is cut from a, a die, the stylish shapes dies, but it really, since I embossed it, it's got little um, stitching, but you can't even tell. And I wish I just cut it, you know, regularly and just uh, embossed it. So approximately two and three eighths by two and three eighths. But if you want it smaller, make it smaller. Um, I don't know if you can go much bigger to get this effect. I mean, I guess you could go a little bit bigger, but you wouldn't have, you know, your, you wouldn't have that design if you went bigger. But you could certainly go smaller. And if you wanted to use uh, anything that's got straight edges, a hexagon or octagon anything like that if it's got straight edges you can use it you can do the same technique but i just cut um and you turn it like a, a diamond and um let's see like on this one this one i came down a little bit lower um but i actually like it better uh put a little bit higher so i think that's what i'm gonna do go up a little bit i think i mean you really can't it's not much of a difference, but I, hmm, which do I like better? You know, now I don't even know. I think they're both fine the way they are, either one. Uh, yeah, but it's very simple to make. I, I even remembered how to do it. It's so easy. So you just take your card base, and, and then your inside uh, piece is going to be, you could actually write on this pink. It's so light if you wanted to, but I just thought this looked nicer. So that's uh, four by five and a quarter also. And then the, the DSP is four by five and a quarter. And the square I'm using is two and approximately two and three eighths by two and three eighths. So all I'm gonna do, um, let's see. I'm gonna put it like, I'm gonna try, let's see, I want it up a little bit higher. I think I like it up a little bit higher. So, I'm just going to make a little, you'll see what I'm doing, yeah. I'm going to make a little, I'm going to try to come in the middle, center, and have equal distance on the sides, and that looks about, that looks pretty good. So all I'm going to do is just 
right here. I'm just going to put a little, it will be covered up. You'll never see it. Just a little teeny pencil mark so I know where to go. And then, and because this has like, I don't know if y'all can tell, little squares, it's easy, kind of easy to um, match it up. So that's all I'm going to do. You could pop it up on dimensionals if you want. Uh, I'm just going to glue it down. I cannot remember the name of this embossing folder either. <laughs> I never, it, it's too many names to Stampin' Up. I mean, my gosh, you can never remember. I can't anyway, the names of everything. But I'm going to come. Let's see. There's that little pencil mark, and I'm going to come in the middle. So, maybe I'll come up just a drop. Right about there. And that looks pretty good. Okay, it, you know, it, if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. You really can't even tell. But that looks fine. That looks absolutely fine. And then you cut some. Uh, now, if you want bigger strips, you can cut bigger strips. You can make a smaller square and cut half inch. These are quarter inch strips. And I just cut it out of the leftover um, cards. No, I had some scraps. That's right. I did have some scraps. So, <clears throat> what you do is you're just going to basically come around with these little strips just just like that all the way around and just what the heck um i'm going to leave i'm not gluing that down i'm just putting it there so i can align this with the top of the little diamond and right here i, I don't want to go over you know or come in like that, you know, that would look weird. So that's the only reason I put that there, just to help me line it up. So I need some glue. And you could put the glue on the back. I'm just gonna put put a little pin, my, put a little mark there so I know not to glue the whole thing, approximately where to put the, put the glue. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna butt up against that let me make sure I've got that right. There we go. Yeah, I want that butted up against this piece of um, this little strip and the top of this. See, this I'm going to take off now. Ooh, what did I do here? Must have got some glue on there. Yeah, so I want it completely equal with that, with the, you know, the top and the sides, okay? And then we'll, we'll cut all this off. We'll cut, turn it over and cut it all off. And then I'm going to see this one. I'm gonna come around here, just like that. You can, you know, like I said, if you want to use a hexagon, you could. You just keep doing the same thing. I'm gonna turn it around. And if you want, um, if it's easy, sometimes it's easier for me just to put the glue, like right, just put a, like a thin line of glue all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, okay? And let me turn it around this way. And I'm gonna butt it up against this one, this strip, and the bottom of this little diamond or square, whatever you want to call it. Okay, that's it. So, let me come around here. I'm going to turn it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just put the glue. If you want to put it on the strip, that's fine. What's Whichever's easiest for you. I find this a little bit easier. But if you want to do it, put it on the strip, put it on the strip. So we're just going to butt that up against that little strip there and all the way down. Okay? Just like that. Make sure they are butted up together, too. And then I'm going to come around here. I could cut that off, but I'll just show you all what you do. And then, then you, the next card you make, um, you know, you could cut this off. I'll show you. And then you just turn it over, cut it off, and then you could use it on another card. So let me just, um, I don't want to put too much glue all the way down. Okay. Very, very simple. Very simple. And just butt that up against this strip and the bottom. There we go. And the bot, this over here, you want them all butted up together. There you go. Okay. And it, you don't have to emboss it. Um, you know, do whatever you want. If you want to put a sentiment there, or uh, I, I stamped and die cut the flowers, 
and I don't know if y'all can see the sheen. I did use Wink of Stella on the flower and on the little veins of the little leaves. I just put Wink of Stella on there and I embossed that little square. But um, you could emboss the strips if you wanted. You could, um, and I would say, I think it looks best <clears throat> if your strips are the same color as your card base. You could do a white card base and, and make this a, like pink if you wanted to just switch it up. That That's pretty too. So just use whatever color your card base is. I, th I think, I mean, it doesn't matter. You do what you want, what you like and what you think looks best. But you could if you wanted to use a white card base. Um, use uh, a different color little square here in the middle and you know it would be great it would be fine use white strips so i, I think that's it's just a simple easy card and it looks like you know it looks like you took a long time and it really that that's it that's it's so it's that simple and then i'm just going to cut this off and from the back try to get it nice and straight which i'm terrible at me and straight just don't work sometimes. Just cut that off. Try not to cut the DSP. Good grief. Okay, whoop. That stuck. I'm gonna have to clean my scissors now and get the glue off. Okay, there we go. That one's too small to use, and then I can, if I wanted to make another one, I could. I'll save these. I do have some cards I need to get out. So there you go, there's your, I mean, it almost looks like you've actually glued this piece on there, but it's just so simple to do, very simple. Yeah, I hadn't made one of these before, and last year when I did my Christmas Bah Humbug, I said, oh, I've got to try it, and it's so easy. I mean, it's just like the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay, let me, where's my, um, dimensionals. I don't need these. I need, uh, what's wrong with this? Why do I have this set aside? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why do I? Okay. Let me just use, these are almost gone, so I just cut the bottom, so I use it all up. And I'm just going to put some, put, pop the flower up and the leaves. Just to give it a little, I'm trying to keep them, um, you know, so it doesn't cost any extra to mail it. Let me cut this side. I think they're cut. Let me see. Yeah, if you use these, just make sure there's nothing wrong with these. They're just, just cut them and use them like regular dimensionals. Don't waste them. That's a lot of waste if you throw that out. Okay, that's fine. Is that off? Yeah, okay. And I did stamp the little stem this time. And I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to glue the little stem like that down here in the corner. But if you want to use stickers, use stickers. Use, you know, whatever you want. You could layer this up. This this square, you could layer it up different color cardstock or DSP. There's just a zillion different ways to do it. And it's super simple. So I'm just gonna put that in the corner. The little stem, I'm just gluing that down. And this the leaves I'm gonna pop up. Yeah, I didn't want the leaves popped up. So let me see. There. Oh, I, my nail, I have no nails, so it's so hard to get this off. There we go. Use my take your pick tool for everything. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stick this over here. Like that. And where's my other one? Here we go. Put that on there. Super simple, super, super simple. I said, you know what? I gotta get this done. I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, I've got little, um, my little pup. Well, Amy's little pup, my little grand pup. He got neutered this past Tuesday, so I went over there and helped her um, with him and made sure Selena didn't mess with him. 
And he's doing so good. The bless his heart poured the first day. Oh my gosh, that was pitiful. He was walking around whining and had that little cone on his head and he was miserable, poor little guy. And the next day he was jumping on and off the couch. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you little stinker. But he he didn't whine. Um, we actually took, I took his, um, when I fed him, Amy had a, a friend. She went on, had plans to go off with a friend, so I stayed there with the dogs. And uh, I, when I fed him, I took his little collar off, and I, I said, all right, Louie, if you don't touch it, what was I doing? Oh, putting this little bow on. If you don't touch it, I'll let you keep the little um, cone off, you know, as long as he wasn't licking it and Selena wasn't going to him. And he left it alone. He left it alone. A couple times he tried to, you know, look at it, and I just said, nah, 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 you know. And he stopped. And he left it alone. And it by the next day, it looked so good. It wasn't swollen, red. He was trying to play. I wouldn't let him play, but he was trying to play with Selena. So he wasn't whining, nothing. I mean, he did great. I'm going to put a little bow there. I think that's pretty. See how easy this is? Nothing to it. Cut that off. That's fine. Nothing to it. And then I use these little, um, oh no, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, all my dyes are coming off. Oh, good grief. Ugh. See, you, things like this. See, look at that. I could have lost that. Didn't even, wouldn't even realize it. Okay, and that's a little mask I had saved. Let me put that in there. Uh, I, don't, I forget what these are called. They're sequins, um, adhesive back sequins. I don't need my blue dots. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put a little, a little bit of glue because I'm nuts like that. Just a little bit. And put some three up, oh, three sequins over here. That was like I said, you know, I'm gonna try to make these as simple and fast as I can. And oh, that look at that! It popped right on there, right on the right spot. Okay, good, just like that. And then I made a little. Um, this was a half an inch. Now, of course, everybody's little sentiment's probably different, but. Uh, I have this, um, I forget what it's called, y'all, I can't remember nothing. Um, See, so I'll either give this little shape like I did on here, or this shape if you had a bigger one. But you see it's got channels, half an inch, three quarters of an inch, one inch. So I could actually, if I wanted to put cardstock behind there, I could just, you know, cut it. Um, This I cut half an inch by three and a half. I could cut it at three and three quarters and then, you know, put it in the put it in the next uh, little thingy, a little, little, um, whatever these things are called, <laughs> how you stick them in there and you could back it, you know, and it'd be, uh, that'd be pretty too. So I, I like this. I like this. Um, I use this one a lot. Let me take these off these little backings. Yeah. I went ahead and got everything ready so it wouldn't take long, but it's such an easy card to make. And uh, I hadn't made one before. That's why I wanted. I picked. I chose that to do when I did my Bah Humbug at Christmas. I'm gonna do it again this year too, y'all. So, if you want to get Bah Humbug for Christmas crafting? I'll do it. I love doing it. But I picked last year. I picked cards that I had never made, and I had never made one of these. And this is like this is as simple as it gets. And there you go. There's your card. And do your inside however you want. And I think I'm going to do the envelopes. This just use the little bud on the envelope. Make it nice and quick and easy. And it's very non-dimensional a little bit, but not much. And this wouldn't cost any extra to mail. Gosh, I got stuff here. But this thing, I think, is dirty or something. I don't know. Let me stand up because I can't see what I'm doing. Actually, I want to open it up and get this on straight as I can. Um, let's see, that looks pretty good. 
Some people turn it this way, you know, they turn it like, then I'm gonna try that next time and see if that helps me. Because I am, um, you know, I really am challenged when it comes to getting things straight. Okay, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Yep, just be careful, don't do what I just did. Okay, there you go. There's your card, just like that. That's how easy it is. Simple, simple, simple. And just the possibilities are endless. I think it's, oh, that's not too straight. Nope, it's not. Let me see. That is not, see, I know, I'm, I'm terrible, terrible. I might have to put some glue on that. There we go. I do like those long banners. When Cindy made me that card with that long banner, I said, oh, I like that. So that's it. That's the fractured or um, uh, faux shutter card, y'all. That's it. So simple. I know I've made this before, but for, you know, if you haven't seen it, that's just how easy it is and very pretty. Very pretty. So, y'all, um, I'm going to finish up. I've got to, I'm going to start on another set. Thinking of you. I've got to get this done. I'm working on some packages. It's just, you know, I've just been busy with the pups and uh, Father's Day Sunday, so I'm gonna go back over there to the barn. We're gonna cook, and then I'm gonna come home and just craft away and get get my stuff done. It's ridiculous. Uh, oh yeah, I gotta do the envelopes. Um, I think that's it. Um, I did write down um, who uh, entered the, the dies that I got from uh, Amazon that I hated. So, um, I got Yvonne Eviza. I hope I'm saying that right, honey. Eviza. I hope I'm saying that right, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Angel Rivers, Damaris, uh, Blessed Hands Arts and Crafts over on uh, Instagram. Patina Hendricks, who refuses to do videos. Cindy Ann and Deborah from Deborah's Tilling Bags. So, I hope I got everybody. Um, Please let me know. I did, somebody, Yvonne, I think it was, she said, I said it. I said, oh, I'm, honey, I'm so sorry. I couldn't tell because somebody was saying they liked, I thought they were saying they liked this, the pansy patch, and I wasn't wasn't sure. So I'll, I'll do something different next time so I don't make sure I don't miss anybody. But I've got everybody written down and mixed up. I don't have no idea who's who. Let me just, I don't know who's who. And I'll just, I gotta figure out how to do that thing everybody does on their phone. I don't know how they do that. Damaris, was it Damaris, honey, did you? I think Damaris made me, I forget who did, but now I'm using this for when I do giveaways. <laughs> I've got a bunch of these little, I use them for different things, and I said, oh, that's cute. <laughs> so let me use it for that. So, uh, yeah, I've got everybody in, and let me just do, a, I'm just gonna mix them up because I have no idea who it is. And you can have those dies, and I hope you get a lot of use out of them. And those flower, flower die things, because I know, I know myself, I'm not using it. I've been really, I, I've been really getting red. I think I've finally made a little bit of a dent, and I've gone through my stuff and see, you know, more of what I have. I don't even know what I have, half of what I have. So I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna close my eyes. Actually, can y'all see what I'm doing? Yeah, there we go. Right, I'm actually turning away, closing my eyes, and uh, let's just grab one. There we go. Okay. And the winner is Cindy Ann. <laughs> Cindy Ann. So there you go, sweetie. <laughs> uh, I have the package. Uh, there's just one more little thing I want to make. Uh, to go in your package and it's done. So I have all your dies and everything in there already, but there's just one little thing I wanted to make. So uh, hopefully I'll get that done. Yeah, in fact, I am going to get that done because I'd like to get that in the mail tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Saturday? What's tomorrow? I don't even know what today is, to tell you the truth. And get that in the mail. So send me in. Congratulations, honey. And I will get those dies to you. And, um, I don't know why I have this card separated. Uh, is there something wrong with it? <laughs> That's what I'm worried. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I guess not. It looks fine. <laughs> okay, it's done. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to get that package ready for you, Cindy. Get that in the mail. Uh, I've got a couple of packages actually I'm working on that I want to get sent out. I don't know if I'll be able to get them done tonight, but um, 
I've got to get all these cards done. I'm making a pile of cards for my sweet friend. She already knows. She already knows. Yeah, she, I knew she'd know. So she told me exactly what she wanted. So Trina, here you go. <laughs> there for Trina. <laughs> she knew. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate your support, your kindness. I just get the sweetest comments and it just warms my heart, y'all. So thank you so much for watching and congratulations, Cindy. You don't do tutorials either. You're another one that won't do it. So, you know, drives me nuts. So anyway, y'all, I will see you very soon. Um, y'all have a happy Father's Day. We're going to go cook tomorrow, start cooking. I um, know what we're making, so um, uh, it's going to be fun. I love my son and I. We love to get in the kitchen and cook. So y'all, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate y'all so much, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye, y'all.